Hey guys, sorry I am late. I was a visually impaired uh, YouTuber and I was out at her place all day working on some uh, videos. So I'll definitely link up her channel below. Uh, better backtrack a bit if you're watching this and you don't, you're new to my channel. I'm Heather Boyd Wire and I'm really happy to be here and I usually do a live stream every week at nine o'clock Eastern on Wednesdays. Uh, today I was a little bit delayed because I had a crazy day, lots of projects going on, but now I am very happy to be here. So yeah, so if, if you're hopping on the live stream, uh, just comment and let me know uh, who you are. I actually, oh, hi, Eric. Hi, Carolina. How are you? Thanks for hopping on. I hope you didn't try at nine. You, if you did, I really apologize for being late. I appreciate that you that you're patient and you waited for me to come on. Uh, yeah, so I had a crazy day. I had yoga class, a little delayed, so, but I'm here now. And uh, hi, Sharon, yay, I'm happy that you're on. Thanks so much. I did post in the uh, Facebook group that I was gonna be coming on and I didn't think I would be delayed, but I was. So I hope the quality's okay. I'm on my iPod. I don't have my computer. Uh, last week was hilarious. I actually did the live stream last week from a shopping center downtown because we were going to a comedy show and that worked out quite well making paperclip earrings. So I'll link up that video below too. And I wanted to show you guys a few projects. Um, I'm going to actually make some Easter egg earrings everything's good that's great Sharon nice to hear no more power failures or any crazy weather out there uh, actually here in Montreal it's getting to be spring so here's my springtime hat it's cute eh maybe I should wear this hat it might be a little bit distracting but it's very cute I'm not going to make this one on the live stream but this I do have a video um I'm not sure if I did a video for how to make this hat. I think I might have. I know I did one for the St. Patrick's hat. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, so it's cute. Eh? It's just basically what it is. It's a little toilet paper roll with fun foam. Oh, hi, Heather. It's a TN Herb Farmer there from South Carolina. That's awesome. That's so cool. It's so funny when I see the short forms of states. It flashes me back to my very first job. I had when I was 15 I was a secretary for a philatelist do you guys know what a philatelist is don't check google let me know if you know what a philatelist is because I was a secretary for this company it was in the basement of somebody's house and they were smokers it was hideous it was really bad for that but the job was great I learned how to do type business letters and that's how I learned my short forms for the states because they used to ship things to the states so SC South Carolina and uh, you love my channel. Oh, thank you so much, Aria. Thanks so much for hopping on the live stream. And uh, we have 10 people on here already. My husband says it's a stamp collector. You are right. You asked Google husband. I like that. That's awesome. Yeah, the Philatelist is a stamp collector and I'm not sure if they're still in business. It was a small business run out of their house in, um, in Ottawa because I grew up in Ottawa and Ontario. And if you guys in the States don't know, that's the capital, which is really cool. So now I'm going to show you a few other projects that I've made. I've been working on all kinds of cool stuff. I have a really exciting video coming up soon. Um, that was uh, speaking of, we were speaking about the comedy club before. Uh, I, we went to see a comedian uh, last Sunday, I guess it was, at the comedy club. Hi, Clara. Hi, Heather. I tag you on Instagram. I love everything you do. Oh, it's cute. Thank you so much. And Caroline, I love your channel. Thanks so much, you guys. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate it. So these are, um, he's sitting next to me, LOL. He loves your Canadian A's. Ah! Actually, I spell A-E-H, but maybe it doesn't really make a difference. So there you go. So these are some fun earrings. These ones I actually made, I used to work in a daycare. And these are basically super easy. I don't have a tutorial for these, but they're easy to make if you need some, if you have anyone that needs some really fun, lightweight novelty Easter earrings. Basically, they're those miniature little Easter eggs made out of plastic. You can get at the dollar store. And then I covered them with um, tissue paper and uh, podge. I don't know if you know, they're cute, eh? And they're really light. It's tissue and Mod Podge and glitter. 
and I just really poked a hole in the bottom with a uh, with a pin and at the top and stuck a wire through it and made a little loop and they make little Easter earrings. So those are super cute and easy to do. There's so many fun things you can get at the dollar store that you can make things out of, which is really cool. This one is cute too. It's a little bunny, just a little bunny kind of earring like that. So this isn't going to focus too well, but you get the idea. So it's basically two pearl beads and for the why I used the wire and made the ears and the hands and the tail. And I do have a little tutorial on YouTube how to make little tiny bunny earrings. And they're a lot simpler than this, but the same idea is this. In fact, I think for those bunny ear earrings, I might have done little pearls for the ears as well. So I'm going to link up um, that video to, uh, as well. And this one was super fun. This one I made probably 20 years ago. They're like little teeny little mini bunnies, three little bunnies just stacked together with little jump rings for dangly earrings. So these are really cute too. I'm not sure I have a tutorial for that, but I can actually, why don't I make, why don't I make a bunny now to show you guys? <laughs> cute. Thank you. Thanks, Sharon. Oh, wow. You just got a big view of my mouth. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. That was really awkward and rude. But uh, so I'm going to make some little bunny earrings out of wire to start. I'm really winging it this week. I, the only thing I had planned is I had an idea to make an Easter, um, Easter egg earrings. And the other thing I was thinking to do, I did the mermaid and the doll with fabric. Oh, no way, you made them. That's awesome. Did you say you tagged me on Instagram, Iclara? And if you did uh, post those photos on Instagram, please tag me again if I didn't see it. I'd love to see. And so cool. Oh, someone's comment just disappeared. Uh, sorry, guys, if, I, if your comments disappear before I see them. So I hope you, when you're going to be on Facebook, uh, are you in the Facebook group, uh, Iclara? I'm not, I don't recognize your name from the, we have a Facebook group called Wire, um, Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. So if you do have photos of your uh, pieces, oh, okay, yeah, so you can post them in there. If you already posted them tonight uh, I, and I didn't see them, I'll, I'm going to go back into that Facebook group tonight and see because sometimes I don't know why I don't always get notifications. So I go back into that uh, group sometimes just to see what's pending. Sorry, my hair is a total mess. I actually had someone com comment on one of my uh, YouTube videos once that I should brush my hair. So, <laughs> oh, well, you can't win them all. eh? So here we go. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a uh, little bunny earrings. And hopefully, I wonder if I sit at the side. Let me just see if we have a little bit of a background here. I purposely put a plain background so we'd be able to see a little bit better when I make things. Because it seems when I try to flip the screen for live streams, it doesn't always work. So I'm just going to try it this way. Oh, no, you don't have it. Well, anytime you have photos you want to share with me, you could even email me at info at heatherboydwire.com. So if you did send me photos of your creations, I would love to share them on, on Facebook, on my Instagram and stuff like that. It's, I just, I'm always so touched when people make my projects. I just, it's really thrilling. So here I just made a little loop like that for the eye. And I'm wondering if I bring it up, it's, it's not gonna focus so much, but it'll give you the idea. And then what I would want to do is bend this up we're going to make the ears. Yours is beautiful, don't worry. Thank you, sweetie. That's awesome. I appreciate it. That's so nice. It looks better when it's when it's a little more fluffy, but it's not too bad. There we go. So here's the eye, and then we're going to make the ears. So then I have these round pliers. These are one of my favorite pliers. They're round nose pliers, and they're a pretty good size. So we're just going to bend this down. This is working pretty well. So then I can explain it and show you guys at the same time. It's just a little awkward for my arms to know what position to be in. So there's one ear. And then what we want to do is hold it with the thinner uh, round pliers. And we're going to bend it up again. So you see it coming along. We're getting bunny ears. And I'll definitely, yes, I did, and Tay on Instagram both. Okay, perfect. I'll definitely have a look because if you tag at, at Heather Boyd Wire, I should see it. Uh, if you did it a while ago, I might have missed it, but I'll definitely check and see. 
So here we're going to loop this down. There we go. So here's two ears for the bunny. Almost looks like a little heart. So there's the two ears and then we're going to take this with the pliers again and then just kind of bend it up like that. And we're going to leave that just for now. That's going to form the back of the bunny. So now we're going to make the bunny's face. So we'll bend it down and we're just going to, this is going to be like a little profile of the bunny. So we're going to bend that down like that. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Does it, is it starting to look like a bunny? And then we're going to go up that. I'm going to find the ideal way to do these live streams that we can actually see my hands closer up. But for now, I'm doing it this way because sometimes when I flip the screen, this isn't too bad. Sometimes when I flip the screen, um, I lose you guys. So we're going to try it this way. So here's the bunny's head. Not too bad. And then we're going to form the front foot like that with the round pliers. So there's bunny's front foot. And then to make the back, leg what I do is I just here I'm going to turn them this way so we're going to go about to where the back leg might start up like that bend it up and I will take the round ones again the bigger round ones and bend it like that so this is going to be sort of like <clears throat> the top of the leg type of thing and bend it back over itself like that. It's funny, my husband and I last night, we went to a comedy club uh, in French, actually. It's the first time I brought him because usually we go in English and he's Francophone. So we went to a French comedy club and the first thing he noticed in the club was um, a neon sign that said open mic. And making uh, letters out of wire is very similar to making neon signs. It's the same concept using one continuous line. So we were talking about the design of the sign and how, you know, to form the letters and stuff. And it was interesting because um, some of the letters are really hard to make because it's hard to make them look real. Like uh, the a challenging one is the capital F, a cursive F is super hard to make out of wire. And I have to do it a lot when I do our wedding cape toppers. So it's really very tricky. So yeah, I just bent the, the leg. That's sort of, I guess, like the thigh of the bunny. And then I bent it back on itself. And now I'm going to form the back foot. So like this, there's the back foot like that. It's looking like a bunny. Okay, I'm going to bring that up and push that up a bit. And then like that, so that's, one part of the bunny and then for the bunny's back I'm going to form it with a round form which of course I think I forgot did I forget oh I have my pot of no here we go I have a pot of things here so here's a sharpie I use sharpies a lot so we're just going to bend this around the sharpie like that so there's the bunny like that and I'll just bend the end, one end, and I'm, clip, I'm going to clip it off. So I'll bend off one end, twist it around, and I'll bend it, uh, clip it off like that without clipping the other wire. Okay. So here's Bunny so far. And then I'm just going to form the tail with the round pliers. So I'm just going to bring the, this one around and make a round form. Hi. Oh, here's Mimi. Say hi Mimi. Hi. Mimi's behind there. You can't see her but maybe she'll hop in and say hello. I was watching silly old videos. I was really addicted to it. Oh wow. What, <laughs> what, she was watching silly videos. What kind of old videos? Of yourself? Of my friend. My One of my best friends and I. Oh wow. Is that Claire? Claire? Oh yeah. my. Yeah that's uh, that's like, fun. Really like throwback stuff. Just <laughs> kind of puts a smile on your face. Oh that's fun. You <laughs> yeah. want to hop in and say hi? Or, um, or no. bring uh, any, anyone to say hello? No, I, I don't know where they are. That's the oh, that's okay. Here. That's okay. I was saying to Mimi she could bring one of her dolls in because I made some wire bunny ears for one of her dolls. and um, I cleaned my room today and I don't remember where I put anything. Okay, so she cleaned her room and can't find it. But what I'll do is I'll link up her video below to, to so you guys can check out how to make little wire bunny ears. So you can make them for your doll. You can make them for yourself. All kinds of things. So here's the bunny. So it's not too bad. 
Mimi, do you know how if I approach this to the screen to keep it focused? You can't, um, eh, when it's when you're filming? I don't know if you could touch to... the screen. Like if I bring it up. See yeah, it's okay. If I touch, it's not too bad. I try to, no, see, even if I touch the screen, it doesn't work. Cute, eh? Yeah, so that's the bunny. Oh, Sharon says hi, Mimi. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> Did you hear her? She said hi back. Yeah, she's just kind of behind the camera. I set up the reason if you're wondering why my my screen in the back is blue, it's because I'm experimenting with green screen, and it's super fun. So basically, I, I film myself with this blue background, and then when I go into iMovie, I can actually superimpose another background on it. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm doing a series on my Start by Starting uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and Sharon, you might be interested in it as well because it's uh, all about how to get started on YouTube and how to create a nice channel and, and all that kind of thing. So it's like tips for how to succeed on YouTube. So I do it on a green screen and then I have like a funky background in the back. So um, it's really fun. If you have iMovie and a blue or a green sheet, you can do green screen. So there's even like free videos on YouTube and other places that I downloaded one. It's a free video of like how you would look if you're on a roller coaster and it's super cool. So, so I would like super, super impose, uh, super, yeah, super impose my, my, myself talking. And in the background, it would look like I'm on a roller coaster. So I'm experimenting with that. It's really, it's really super fun. So yeah, so now what I'm going to experiment with is because I like to troubleshoot designs uh, while on the live stream. So I'm going to see what I can do about making a Easter egg earring. I have a song stuck in my head. <laughs> and I think after this we might watch a movie. Do you guys have any suggestions for good movies on Netflix? Because it's kind of hard to find decent movies on Netflix. We're, we're always looking for good suggestions. So, so here's a wire. I've just bent it at a right angle here and I'm going to get my round forms. And we have a whole bunch of DVDs that we watch over and over again. Yes, I have to message you. I think I came to a decision of what I want to do. Oh yes, awesome Sharon. You can let me know what you want to do about your YouTube. That would be great. Yeah, I've, I've been, been getting really involved with helping other people with their YouTube channels and it's super fun. And I was helping a woman the other day, she's a financial advisor, so we set up her channel. And then another a friend of mine I went to, she gave an inspirational talk or like a motivational talk about um, her two sons have autism. And so she gave a talk about self-care for parents of kids with autism. Actually, I'll link up that video once she, once she posts it because um, I filmed it for her. I had a lot of technical glitches with the whole thing because um, my camera kept pooping out, <laughs> which was unfortunate. And uh, but I put together the clips that I had and made a, it makes a nice little kind of overview of her talk, which is really cool. So I helped her with that. And then this other friend of mine that I mentioned earlier, Claudia Negrelli, who's completely blind and she's a motivational speaker. She's a massage therapist. She's an Arbonne rep and um, I'm helping her with her YouTube channel. So she sends me clips that people videotape of her and I edit them and put them up on YouTube. And today I went to her house. She gave me a massage. So this was the exchange. And we filmed another video of her uh, teaching people how she uses technology, like her iPhone, as a blind person. Super fascinating. Oh my God, this woman is amazing. Yeah, I'm going to link up her channel for sure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the um, Easter egg. So what I want to basically do is a kind of an oval type shape. I guess I could look at this Easter egg here as a as a sample. Sometimes it's hard to get the exact shape what you want, but you you want to. Oh, someone just commented something, and I missed it. Sorry, guys. Every time I look away and a comment pops up, I I miss it. So so if I miss it, you know what I wish is we could all get on Zoom and just chat. Maybe we could figure out how to do that sometime. Do you prefer movies or do you watch TV shows? Netflix has a lot of own shows. Yeah, Amazon. Okay, I don't have Amazon Prime and I don't love TV shows because I don't really like getting kind of pulled into having to watch uh, them on a regular basis, but I do love movies. If you guys haven't seen on Netflix a movie called Unleashed, <laughs> we've watched it twice. It is so, so funny. Oh my gosh, it's, it's hilarious. So if you haven't watched it, definitely check it out. So does this look Easter eggy? What do you think, Mimi? Is it sort of Easter eggy? Almost. 
Disney musicals are great. Love Costa Rica. Awesome. I love your channel name. Disney musicals. Well, I don't know which ones you mean. I saw one. I don't know if it was Disney. What was that called? Enchanted? Enchanted. Enchanted. Have you guys seen it? Enchanted with um, quite a well-known actress in it. I forget her name. But uh, we do we have, have it? it? We don't have oh, it. that was a funny, funny one. I don't know if it was Disney, but it was very like kind of Disney, like related, kind of like themed in a sense. Yeah, it might um, not have been Disney, but it was like so. I think it was a spoof on Disney. Oh, maybe yeah. yeah it, it was, was it like was beautifully spoof. done. Yeah. yeah, I definitely recommend it. Yeah, let me know if you guys have seen Enchanted because <laughs> it's a it's a really great fun movie. Mona, Beauty and the Beast, and I like. I like trolls. Oh, okay. Interesting. Fun. Did you see trolls? No, I haven't seen trolls. I generally don't love animated movies, but I'm open to trying. Yeah, I would I would be open to trying. One that I wanted to see and I never got around to seeing was um what was that one in the on the trailer there was a um a sloth. A bu uh, there was a sloth, was it? Or the bunny? No, what was that the Speedy scene? bunny and the little slow sloth. Yeah. I saw that like, like two years ago. Did you see the movie? Yeah, I saw it with Claire. It was okay. Okay, yeah. It was, um, I'm not a fan of those types of movies. I find them really interesting. I find like the arts that goes into it really interesting. Because yes. I know like animation takes a long time and I can True. really appreciate whoever has a sloth, um, they said. Okay. okay. Uh, I don't think it was Ice Age. It was a different one. I think it was a different one. But, yeah. But wait, was it a oh. sloth in that scene? Yeah. Yeah, it was a sloth. It was, um... What was it called? I forget. It's going to come to me. It was like a couple of years ago. Yeah. And there's a scene ago. where the bunny's working in the office and there was like... Or no, no, there was this. The bunny goes to the bunny goes to the office. He and goes the, to um an airport or something and go take a flight. And the sloth is really slow is getting slow. his. Slow. That his was flight it. I remember. Love country. I love sloths. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sloths are awesome. So here's sort of a basic shape for the egg. Um, I'm not even sure it's a perfect egg shape, but it's all good. So my idea was to actually get some beads. Actually, maybe maybe you want to help me find some nice beads and. I'm just playing around with this, guys, so we're going to see if it's actually going to work. I have some little zoo something. Yes, that, that was oh, it, Oh, Zootopia. Zootopia, you're right, exactly. That was it. Did you see it? These are little seed beads. You can see I keep them in my old Tupperware pots. Oh, there we go. Without dumping them, I'm going to show you my seed beads. And so what I'm going to do is um, just string them... Yes, yeah, Zootopia. Yeah, I, I, I meant to see that one, and then I never got around to it, unfortunately. I saw it on my, like, 20 or 21st birthday, I think Oh, it did was. you? Okay, that's Even cool. Even my 21st birthday, I saw it Claire. Zootopia, we that's it. That yeah, that's it, Zootopia. That's so cool. Yeah. It was very cute. It, it, like, I like a few of the scenes, but I found it a little, like, it kind of got a little boring after a while. Oh, okay. But you can definitely appreciate, like, the art that goes into it. Yeah, I have a friend, um, my really good friend, Patricia Srigley. She's uh, She lives in Montreal. She's an artist. Her son, actually her two sons are very talented. One's a musician, one's an artist. And her artist son uh, lives out in Vancouver, and he's worked on some really big uh, films. Uh, yeah, he worked, uh, yes, I want, it was her circle, the sloth who cracked me up. Yeah, I got to <laughs> see it. But I totally got to see that. So yeah, my friend's son um, worked on uh, Avatar and on Hunger Games. And so I, I generally don't go to see films like that, but because it was her son and I wanted to see his name in the credits and everything, we went to see those films and they were super interesting. When you know the work that goes into it, it's super interesting. So, um, so here, I'm just going to put like, these a specific beads. suggestion for movies. Yeah, if you guys have other suggestions for Netflix, just please let us know. Like chick flicks. Chick, yeah, we like chick flicks. <laughs> you like to, uh, yeah, smile. yeah. Do they not work at the driver's license place? That's it. Exactly. That's it. Because I only saw the ad, and uh, that's the scene that I remember. And I remember thinking, oh, I got to see that movie. It looked really good. 
Yeah. And the other one I saw was the Lego movies, uh, the Lego movie. And that was fun because I went with my nephews when they were really young. And it was so cool because they set up like a drive-in type of thing outside of our grocery store one day at the Metro store uh, one night. And we was so we went to like this drive-in to see this, uh, the movie, uh, the Lego movie with my nephews. And that was like super fun. Just the whole experience of it too. This is Cyril. I meant the scene, not the scene done. <laughs> That's okay. Typos. So here I'm going to attach three little beads at the top to do, uh, I'm going to try to do like a kind of a Easter egg type thing. This is just a vision I had the other day because I was thinking, what can I do for you guys for, um, for a project on the spot? And I was thinking, well, Easter's coming up. So I thought I'll just do like a little Easter egg type thing. So we're going to do three beads at the top. Mona. Okay, Mona. Okay, well, maybe I should check out some of these ones. Ooh, I just watched A Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, wow. Is that, that's like a really old film, isn't it? That's so cool. I'm going to just twist this in. One of the, oops, sorry guys, I just, whoop, just pushed you around. So I'm just going to twist this around like that. Let me know if you guys are doing anything for Easter too. I'm curious. We used to celebrate Easter when the kids were young, you know, Miriam and her cousins were, when they were little, we used to celebrate, but we don't really do much for Easter anymore. We're going down to see my family in uh, a week because it's my little great niece's uh, third birthday. So we will be kind of celebrating family stuff then, but this weekend we're staying put, we're not doing too much. So here's like one little row of beads. And then what I thought I'd do is for the next row, maybe do either a different color or slightly bigger beads. So I'll get I'll get some more beads going here. I wrote Happy Easter on the uh, on chalkboard. Oh, that's fun. We have a chalkboard in our basement. My husband said, co co convo cat. Oh, I, that went by so fast. Mimi, I need you to check my comments. <laughs> I'm doing a unicorn. Oh, right on. Cool. That's so fun. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put these blue beads on now. We'll see what they're going to go, what, what's going to happen with the blue beads. And then I'm going to try a different kind of bead. These are still seed beads, but they're a little bit bigger. And I don't know if I'll have to do more than the first row. I did four, uh, three, this row I can do. Maybe I'll do four in this row. So I did a row of three, a row of four. And this is a fun design because you could really like just go nuts with it. You can do uh, you can do any kind of beads that you want. So I just thought it would be a fun experiment. And I'm actually surprised I've never made earrings like this before. But I just thought about it. The, my, the other thing I was thinking to do was to make Casey Neistat earrings. Do, who, who knows who Casey Neistat is? Let me know in the comments if you guys have heard of Casey Neistat. And if you don't know who he is, guess, why don't you, if you don't know who he is, don't check Google, just guess who he is. If you can, he's famous, but can you guess why he's famous? His name is Casey Neistat. I like this. We'll ask the questions and see. Well, they already know. He's not sure how to spell it. It's his limited French. Okay. I'm going to have to check the comments after because some of these are just flying by. Or Sharon, you can always message me anytime on Facebook and give me suggestions for movies too. So this is cool. I see it's going to look cute. It's coming along, eh? So we have two, oh, there we go. Or it's, I have my white paper here to look at it too. So we have two rows. So now I'm going to maybe get a slightly bigger beads. I'm just trying to see, are these going to be too, this might not be too bad. What color should I do next? Maybe pink is sort of a, how about I'll do pink? Cause that's kind of an Easter color. And so I'm using, I use 20 gauge wire for the outline. I'm guessing an artist, uh, somewhat of an artist, but not, that's not exactly what he's known for. He's not known for making art, but he's certainly very creative. Yeah. He's, uh, should I tell them who Casey Neistat is? Want to. <laughs> so Casey Neistat is actually a very, very famous YouTuber. And he started on YouTube like way, like way back, a long time ago. And 
Oh, these ones are too big, I think. I'm going to see if I can find smaller beads. So he started as a filmmaker. He made, uh, I think his first film was something about like um, a critique of the iPhone or something like that. And then his videos went viral on YouTube. And now he's like one of the most popular people, uh, YouTubers. And he lives in um, New York City. And he, white, yellow. Oh, for the, for the colors? That's a good idea. Some white and yellow for Easter. Oh, yellow's good. So let me go with yellow. I have I just opened up my other uh, box of plastic beads and I found some yellow ones here. So let's do that. Yellow's a good Easter color. So I'm just going to see if I have enough beads that are the same color. Uh, maybe one more. I have to see what's going to fit. The trick is to get beads that are actually going to fit. I have to bring them a little closer because my eyesight isn't that great. So let's see if I got four of the same color. There we go. So we have these four beads. But the trouble with these beads, they're kind of warbly. So let's see what else that I have. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm just going to go with these because it's kind of hard to find some that are perfect. Whoa, they're a little, they're a little big. But you know what? I think I'm just going to go for it and see how it looks because... You never know until you try. So we're gonna, these are called, I think they're called um, crow beads. They're like little, uh, kind of more flattish beads. They're not really round. So we're just gonna clip that in. Woo, that went flying. And then we'll put this one in. And then maybe I'll do pink underneath that to be kind of Easter-y. So all I'm doing is I'm doing rows of beads and each wire is separate. And I'm just winding the wire in. Perfect. Yay. You like the yellow? That's good. And so now, he's much better. Oh, you got to go. Okay. Well, thanks for hopping on. I appreciate it. And you can always watch the replay later. I'm only, I'm just going to stay on for a few more minutes because um, I usually try to keep the live stream streams to about uh, half an hour, but we might go a little bit over today. I'm going to just try to find some pink beads. Let's see what I got. My beads are sort of all over the map. Maybe I'll go back to the little size. Let's see what I got here. Oh, I have a whole nother pot of beads here. These are cool. I'm going to open those ones up. I keep them in these little fishing lure containers. I find they're really handy for, for, um, for the beads, just to keep them all separate. So let's try this one to see. The other thing that I could have done, which would be a little more elaborate, I don't know if you can see these are called uh, bugle beads, because that would actually be really cool if I did a bigger uh, egg, just to use these to do like a little zigzag formation. That would be cool to use the, the bugle beads. That would be really fun. But for now, I think I'll just use these ones. These, what I'm going to do next, they're, um, if they're going to fit on the wire, sometimes the beads are a little bit plugged and they don't always fit on the wire. Well, these ones really don't want to fit. So let me just clip it a little bit. Sometimes if you cut the end a little crooked, they don't always fit on. No, those ones do not want to go. So I've already done yellow. So let's go back to pink. Let me see what I could find for pink. Ooh, this one's pretty. This one might work. It's a little round pink bead. So let's see if I could find some more like that. Oh, and purple too. I could have used purple. So let's see if I can find some more purple beads. Purple. Yeah, the trouble is all my beads are all mixed together. Oh, here's purple. I think I'm going to go for purple. I think I have, yeah, I think I have enough purple beads. There we go. So sometimes you just have to make do with what you have. So one, two, three. There we go. Yeah, I just got back from yoga class. Do you guys, does anyone here do yoga? Here, so here's purple. It's a little dark, but it's okay. We're going to go for the purple. Yeah, I do. I go to yoga every week. I have, um, tonight I did one called restorative yoga, which is really wonderful. And it's not, I wouldn't call it exercise. It's more like really taking different positions in yoga and just letting your muscles relax. It's a really great practice. So if ever you have like chronic pain or anything, bicycle, okay, you, you, you go biking. 
because I uh, I bike as well. Yeah, I love to bike and I do yoga and I, I don't really do swimming. Like in the past I have done swimming and I like it, but I don't like getting in the pool in the in the cold weather in the winter. But uh, I prefer to swim in a lake actually when I can. My parents have a cottage uh, a, a few hours away from here. So sometimes I go to their cottage. So here's, there we go. So now we just need one more row and let's see what we can do for our one more row. Maybe some pink or some white. Let's see what I got. Okay, I'm gonna get one more piece of wire and then I'll see what beads. They're gonna have to be smaller though because otherwise they're not going to uh, fit in there. So let me try the white. I could have tried pink, but I don't have any really nice pink beads. Let's see if we could do the white. So here's some white ones. Let's see if they're gonna work. I think it's good. Let's just go with the white, just to finish it off a little bit. So I'm just gonna bend the end in. I probably would have, if I do this again, I would actually use a thinner wire to do the, to attach the beads. Cause sometimes the 20 gauge wire is a little bit tricky to bend. Like it's a little, it's a little stiff. So if you were going to do this one, I would recommend doing um, like using probably a 24 gauge uh, to attach the beads or even 22, but 20 is a little stiff. So as you get to do more wires things, you get to know about the gauges of the, oh, of the wires. And I just lost my beads. So, <laughs> so that I can't really do anything anymore due to uh, in my, oh, wow. But my mom does yoga. Well, I wonder, Sharon, if you would benefit from restorative yoga because it's not even doing yoga poses at all. It's just very, very chill. It's very relaxing. And it's uh, it's just really nice. The woman that teaches my restorative yoga class, she's actually a yoga therapist. So, and when I had uh, my back problems, she actually... Um, came over and gave me a routine of res of like kind of restorative poses to do uh, to help my back and that was really amazing. So here's there's some little pearly ones at the bottom so I'm just going to see if I can get one more on there to see how it goes. I could actually do real pearls maybe I'll do real pearls here I'm gonna see if they're gonna if they're gonna work. Sorry I'm not really looking. Tai Chi is good. Ooh yes you know I love Tai Chi, I've only done it like once or twice, but I love it and I love the sort of like meditative stretching aspect to it. And the other thing that I tried, I can't find my other pearl. The other thing that I tried that's, I can't bear weight on my left foot. Yeah, so this, a lot of the restorative poses, you're actually lying down and uh, it's not weight bearing whatsoever. So yeah, it might actually be a good, a good option for you. Yeah, and uh, the other thing I tried that's relate actually related to um, Tai Chi, but it's much more active. If you like an active, uh, probably for you, Sharon, it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, be a good idea. But it's um it's called eccentrics, and I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but it's um it's actually was developed in Montreal, and it's sort of a, a combination of stretching and a Tai Chi and but also some active poses as well, as well. It's really nice. Sorry, I've got my nose and my beads because I'm trying to find the perfect beads to finish this off and I'm being extremely indecisive. So I'm going to just try to take usually what I would normally do with this is pre uh, pre prepare my beads. So I'd be more organized for you guys, but I wasn't too organized tonight. So let's just I think I'm just going to finish it with some pink beads. So we'll get some pink beads out of here. That's the trouble when all my beads are mixed together. I can't really find them very well. So we'll just get one more. There we go. There. One last bead. You guys are so patient. I can't believe it. <laughs> so here's some pink beads at the bottom. And then we'll just finish this end. Hmm, I have to look into the before I can just, I was, wow, second degree black belt. That's amazing. That's incredible. Yeah, my sister and her family all did um, 
uh, Taekwondo and got their black belts uh, years ago, a long time ago. Wow, that must be so frustrating for you not to be able to do those activities anymore. I really feel for you. Okay, so here we go. <sighs> Finally, so 40 minutes later, I made my Easter egg earring. So there we go. And then you would just put a little earring hook. I'll just, um, hi, hi, Claire. Are you just hopping on now? I'm just getting ready to wrap up. That is so awesome that you're hopping on. I'm on uh, Claire is Mimi's friend in Ottawa. That's awesome to hear from you. And uh, so here's what we made. We made a little, a little Easter egg earring. So with the beads. So basically we just made a round, um, like an oval shape and added the beads to that. And that would be an earring. And then we'll just refresh what else we made. We made a little bunny and that could be an earring you could just stick the earring hook in one of the ears so that's cute and then I was just showing everybody at the beginning these that's cute and yeah lightweight it's actually lightweight sharing the one with the Easter egg because um I use plastic beads oh thanks Claire super cute this one was cute I made that years ago with old uh, recycled plastic uh, Easter eggs and podge and Tissue, love it. Oh, I like the bunny, the bunny emoji. That's awesome. And then the little bunny made out of pearls and I'll link up that video below. And then the little stacked up bunnies that are similar to the wire bunny I made. And that's pretty well it. So, um, so I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. I super appreciate you always coming on. It really means a lot to me. I'm so sorry I was late tonight. And as always, um, if you have any questions, comments, just mention them below. If you want to hop on Facebook and join the Wire uh, wire Art and, no, what was it? Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club. That's what we call the group. So we have quite a few people in the group now, which is amazing. And in that group, you can share pictures of your work, put links to your website. It's just going to be a really interactive uh, community uh, for people interested in wire art and jewelry and beading and all kinds of stuff and uh, if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe uh, give the video a thumbs up push the notification bell to find out when I go live and all that sort of thing and uh, yeah we'll see you guys around hopefully next week uh, if not before and on Instagram Facebook Twitter all over the place and I want to wish everybody a happy Easter and we'll definitely see everybody really soon I'm in Facebook Goddess Touch DIY and Crafting. Oh, cool. Super cute. Have a great Easter. Awesome. Okay, guys. So, yeah, keep in touch. Uh, keep commenting. Uh, once the video is posted, you can comment below and keep our discussions going and stuff. And uh, we can make friends in this group, too. It's awesome. So, uh, bye, Claire. Thanks for hopping on. And we'll see, we'll see everybody really soon.